Hey, Claude Polanyi, our affiliate starting line. Welcome. Uh, this is going to be a video about how to upgrade uh, your memory on an iMac. Uh, the reason I'm doing it is because I had a problem with uh, my hard drive filling up, and so I started offloading files onto an, a backup drive, but the machine was still slow. So I went into the Genius Bar, we took a look at it, and we've offloaded more files, and then he suggested I upgrade my memory from 1 gig to 4 gig. So I went on Crucial. W-C-R-U-C-I-A-L dot com, and I'll show you shortly. And I got this right there. This is a uh, four gigabyte, two chips, two gigabytes each that I'm going to put into my Mac. And uh, the way you do it, the, one you, the way you want to diagnose it is this. Come up here to your About This Mac icon, open it up. And you're going to see that you have a two, in this case, I have a 2.4 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo. And then my memory is, a, is an 800 megahertz. This is important to make sure that you've got this data straight. Okay, and uh, DDR2 uh, SD RAM. Okay, so I know it's an 800 megahertz and a 2.4 gigahertz Intel Core 2 dual chip. Then I went to Crucial. So when you go to Crucial, I can lose this now, uh, you're gonna come to the screen, you're gonna see a select man manufacturer. So you can select your manufacturer and you find down here, Apple. And then you select your product line, and I selected iMac. And then I had to select a model. So that's where you want to pay attention to the data, because there's a lot of models here. And I found my 2.4 gigahertz. Now there is a uh, 667 megahertz model and an 800. I have the 800, because I saw that on my little screen. So I select that, and then you go find it. Then it'll bring this up, and then it'll also bring up the options you've got. So you have a four gigabyte kit, that's the one I got, a uh, two gigabyte kit, two gigs, and one gig. So you can see the price over here, $67.99. Uh, there's some tax that they add to it, et cetera, but that's the ball. So it's ballpark 70 bucks. And uh, they said it would take five to seven days to get it. I got it in three days. So once you get it, uh, it's time to put it in, and that's where we're going to follow up with uh, the next portion of this video. So stick with it. So here we are, we're going to put these uh, chips in and uh, I've disconnected the, Ma the Mac from power, from everything, and I've got the base here. I'm facing the base, and I took this little flathead screwdriver. That worked for me. This, it looks like a little Phillips thing here, but it, w it wasn't working very well, so the flathead got it out. You pull the panel out, this piece of plastic, put that aside. Now, there are two slots here. There's a tab here. There's nothing in that slot. The second tab here, I pulled it out, and it's supposed to pop out when you pull it. Uh, it didn't pop out at first, but I managed to loosen it with, uh, I demagnetized everything, and with some needle nose I loosened it up and now I can see that it's loose enough and the chip will come out. Right here. So there it is, that's the one gigabyte chip. So now we want to put two gigabyte chips in here. And we're gonna do that shortly. So we got the, ch the chip out, the one gig chip out, and we want to put the two gigabyte chips in so you kind of fit it in there, slip it in, and in it goes. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side There, and we fit the tabs in. Slip the tabs in. And you're done. Next thing we'll do is come back here and fit the panel back in. Screw it in and, we're, and we'll check it out. So that's it. So uh, stick with it and we're gonna turn it on in a couple of minutes. Okay, we're here, we've got the chips in. Now let's see what happens when we turn the machine on. And this is all handheld, folks, so uh, bear with me. So far, we got the sound we like to hear. We got the Apple icon uh, in about half the time that it would take with the one gig in. So it's definitely looking like something is improved. 
It's next going to go to the login screen. There it is. Pretty cool. So uh, let's log in. And it should go, wow, that loaded up the, de the dock and the desktop. That's pretty cool. That's now I'm going to go up here to my About Mac. And let's see what it says. I'm going to turn the macro on, so bear with me. There we go. And it says, there it is, 4 giga RAM, 2.4 gigahertz, Intel Core 2 Duo, 4 giga RAM. So it did it. Uh, and you can see that it booted up pretty quick and uh, it uh, loaded everything up a lot faster than it did. Let me turn this off. So that's how you do it. That's how you um, put in and change your, your memory and it will certainly improve the performance of your machine. So I hope this video has been helpful. This is Claude Plan Affiliate Starting Line. Stay with it. Stay well. I will talk to you soon.